There are, hey, thank you. Good to see you. Welcome to the Daily Dish with Dimples. If you do not behave, if you do not behave, you will be removed from the stream. Now, I do not want to see that happen to you. Listen, special guest today, you all, this is Court. Listen, you all, this is the last day that we will be on uh, the match, uh, the Meet Me group network, okay? Um, POF has decided to be able to go on another platform, all of its own, and we will be on that starting tomorrow so if you all any of you all if you are if you are meet me if you are meet me please make sure you favorite favorite me create a pof account because you won't be able to see me here you won't be able to see me here or the show here if you do not have a pof account so please create your pof account everyone this is the daily dish with dimples hey we have sunny in the building we want to know what she is cooking. Sunny, Sunny has a featured show. Please, every Wednesday, 3 p.m. Um, and I'm super excited. This is reinventing with Sunny. Yo, Sunny, this is our the side D segment. This is all about the D's. Sunny yeah. is cooking it up for us today. Right, Go ahead. I know you said you like to see the hands, so I had to get that adjusted right. <laughs> oh, I appreciate you so much. Oh my goodness. So today, I'm, I'm not reusing a whole lot today. We're going to do a little bit of a fresh, but this is today I did uh, because I had this craving for cabbage. So to ease the stress, you all in the kitchen, you can buy a coleslaw mix. It's nothing but cabbage and carrots. That's all it is. It cuts down on your having to cut up and all that. That's all this is, is some purple cabbage, some regular cabbage and carrots, the coleslaw mix. That's all this is, is cabbages. So I know what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna do, we're gonna smother some cabbage with some red onion, some red and uh, orange peppers. Me, I'm on a carrot kick these days, so I'm adding extra fresh carrot, and I've gotta have some tomato in there. And we're going to do a crispy skin chicken thigh. So I've already cleaned these. Y'all, if you can't really stomach chicken thighs or you think they're too fatty, just make sure you clean them well, especially it's a piece that'll be across the side right here. It's usually like a half inch thick of fat. Take that out. Just get all that extra fat out. So we're going to do, I'm only doing two, so I don't have too many of the leftovers. And here is my mix. This is some Himalayan salt, some cracked pepper, some onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, cayenne, rosemary, and thyme. My favorite things to have on chicken. So I have it in a little bit of avocado oil just to make a paste out of it. So you can see it's, it's just pasty. And to get the best way for me when you cook in turkey or chicken is to put it under the skin. So all you have to do is when you're doing that cleaning, make sure you're cleaning all that extra little film and stuff under the skin, just get it out. So I patted these dry and have them sit on paper towel. And I'm just going to massage the paste onto it. We're gonna put the paste all around it, put a little bit on the top of it, and I'm going to pop those in the air fryer. And it's on roast, so that's what I'll be cooking it on. And I'm gonna make some gravy for dimples. <laughs> I mean, it's gonna make a simple uh, onion and peppered gravy. Um, just for dimples, because it's super simple. You can make gravy in like three minutes, y'all. Like three minutes. Three a minute. Everyone, welcome. This is a daily dish with dimples. Yo, this is a feature show. We're here every Monday, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome. You all, if you all have not, if you listen, you all, it is the last day that we will be on the Meet Me a group. A site, right? If you all have, if you all do not have a POF account, you will not be able to view the show. Please, please make sure um, that you create a POF account. Hello, bodyguard. I love you. Please make sure you uh, create a POF account so that you can see the show. This show will be moving to the POF network. So I'm super excited. We're super excited. It's the big transition. So if you cannot find me, okay, we will be on the uh, POF network. Thank you so much. Okay, we got Sunny here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We have Sunny here, and she is making a crispy chicken thigh. Yes, and she's had a phenomenal amount of herbs that she put in avocado oil to create amazing paste. 
And this is super excited. So, oh my God, an amazing paste. And that was rosemary, garlic powder, probably onion powder. And oh my goodness. So onion powder, garlic powder, salt, pepper, some paprika. Uh, oh, some celery seed. And then a little bit of cayenne because I like a little bit of pop and the rosemary, actually rosemary and thyme. I actually put a little bit of thyme in it too. And you can just make this as a dry mix and put it in something. So you can use it on ribs. You can use it on your chicken, your seafood or whatever. I just put a little bit of oil in this one just because I was doing the chicken in the oven. So I just made a little paste to put on. And just and see, you just massage it around the bottom of it. Make sure you get it in all the way. Anything extra, just just rub it in. It's even better if you can let it sit for a little while. Okay. Okay. The flavors get in there even better. And don't be afraid to taste just your your concoction. Taste it and make sure you can taste everything that you want to taste. You know, make sure you can taste the basil if you're using it, the rosemary, the garlic. Make sure you can taste everything. And then once it's all just rubbed in all over, just pop this and see, because it's going to be on the bottom of the skin already because it's going back over and just like rub your hands on the top of it to get that last little residue off. Yes, yes. Good morning, Beth. Hello. That last Hello. little residue. And I'm going to put these in the air fryer. They're on, it's on roast. Mm -hmm. um, and you see, I saved a little bit of this because of course we want to layer flavors. So I'm going to drop a little bit of this into the cabbage today too. Nice, nice, nice. Everyone, welcome. My name is Top Edge Dimples. This is the Daily Dish with Dimples. You all, I appreciate. Thank you so much for all of the favorites. So the Daily Dish with Dimples, yo, we are a featured show. We're here every Monday, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Lugs, I love that. We will be on a different channel. If you all um, do, we will be on the POF site solely. If you do not have a Plenty of Fish account, please create one so that you can come and visit us on the Plenty of Fish solely network along with black and cheese but peel up next week let's go everyone's super excited and i do have a date for um we um will be looking forward and listen like hello fosco how are you how are you so listen y'all make shut up make sure y'all favorite uh sunny yo sunny is a correspondent thank you so much Lex. thank you each and every one of my bouncers yo uh we have big dan in the building Yo, we have correspondents that are coming through today. Sunny is a correspondent of the show. She does, listen, the D, why Why is it the, the side D? The Daily <laughs> Digital is all about the D. Hello, thank you, Dan. It's all about the D. So we have several uh, correspondents. We have segments. This happens to be the side D, which is the side dish. We play around with a lot of D over here. We really do. We have Sunny. Sunny is also a content creator. I have my sister sister from another mister she is here as well when you are ready please request the box please request it yeah we, we we got a lot of d moving around here but i'm super excited yes super excited so we only have people join the box who are um guests invited guests for the day so i do it's important for you us to know you so i'm super excited y'all this is correspondence day sunny is a correspondent she is the side d a correspondent and she already has her feature show which is amazing and it's called reinvented with sunny and we will all be moving along together onto um the pof platform in which we will resume our featured shows okay listen she is cooking while she is cooking this y'all we are going to get into the d and the more t okay listen you all i told you all this is a feature show yes nick welcome back this is a feature show what do we do here what is the daily dish with dimples about so listen y'all y'all see a dish right y'all see food originally we actually started out in terms of making hey what are the celebrities doing the fact is I'm a Wendy Williams lover, okay? Before she got put out her own show, and y'all, like, I, I'm telling you, I'm still a lover. She got put out of her show. It happens. That was her journey, right? But I love the fact of celebrities, and I enjoy and appreciate celebrities because, hey, they just make more money than we do, but they got more money, more problems. They still have issues, so I love to talk about them, okay? So I'm super excited because we have yet another correspondent, and guess what? Y'all, she was the first correspondent. Yes, she was the very first correspondent. And I'm super excited because you all, she has the same zest and the same fervor and the same 
energy. Yes, she has a lot of the great energy in terms of, hey, that that zeal for the info. I'm super excited because she also has her own. Yo, my friends got featured shows. I'm super excited. I'm super proud of these ladies. If you have not favorite, your favorite Sunny and Sunny, favorite them both. So you know where to find them. They will be on the POF network. That's very huge, very huge, all right? So listen, I'm super excited. I'm gonna get out the way. We have my sister who was the very first correspondent. She's here, y'all. We are giving big shout outs to the app today and to our transition. Big shout out to my sister from another mister. It is Queen La La. Hello, Hello everybody. Everybody. happy Monday. Happy Monday. Yes. Guys, this is my POF. Like I told you, here it is. <laughs> Do not message me. <laughs> Just favorite me. <laughs> Ignore the profile. It's none of your business. Okay. Because <laughs> this is my dating side. Your girl, a single one. Don't message me. Okay. Hi, guys. Monday, we have some bad news first. You know, we get the bad news out of the way, and then we got some couples news for you guys today, okay? So first up, we have uh, Dr. Martin Luther King's youngest son, Dexter Scott King, passed away today. Um, he passed away at 62. Um, he lost his battle to prostate cancer. So um, we just want to keep the rest of the King family uplifted in prayer, uplifted in meditation, whatever your preference, um, sending those positive thoughts their way today. Yes, yes, yes. Well, God rest, listen, God rest his soul. Dang, 62, well, how old were Mar how long? Martin, I mean, Martin been gone for a while. His kids are, you know, up there in age. They're definitely up there. Wow. Yeah. Everyone they were, I, I believe they were pretty they were pretty small when he passed. So um it, it's it's not it's it's crazy that the youngest though is 62. So um but yeah, at least he's at least he's out of pain, I'm sure, with uh with yeah, cancer. Yeah, yeah. So thank God goodness keep them in prayer, right? Yeah, so yeah. um we also have we also had uh, um, Alec Baldwin on Friday. A grand jury indicted him for the involuntary manslaughter of Helena um, Hutchinson's. Um, now, if you guys recall back in 2021, um, Alec Baldwin was um, was uh, recording, was filming, was filming the film uh, Rust. And um, a, the prop gun was mixed up with a regular revolver um, that was loaded. And um, she, Helena was actually in charge. Uh, she was the manager of the props department. And uh, man, we, we really don't know how stuff like that could happen, but it did happen. And it happened to one of the biggest film stars of our time, Alec Baldwin. and. Um, yeah, he's he is looking at 18 months in in prison, and he is 65 years old. And this is a, a, a an an actor. He's a regular regular actor, and now he has been indicted on these involuntary manslaughter charges. I hate I hate the way that that sounds because it really I mean that's what it is. He accidentally killed her not med not premeditated nothing like that so it's not murder but my goodness you know involuntary manslaughter i never knew there was such a thing so he was um he was indicted on that from from what happened in 2021 on the set of rust so hopefully he i don't i, I think he was i think he was one of those uh Pete yeah. Davidson's, if you will, of his time. So he did a lot of crime when he was younger, where maybe this is going to be taken into account, unfortunately. So I, um, I'm i definitely keeping him in my thoughts and prayers um, before they go to sentencing. He has not been sentenced. So wow. you guys, wow. you guys do your do your things <laughs> to keep him out of prison. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Wow. 
goodness, you all, everyone, welcome to the Daily Dish with Dimples. My name is Tom Bass Dimples. We are here. Yo, we have Sunny. Oh my gosh, we got Sunny in the building. Sunny is our correspondent for the side D. She is dishing it up. That side D means the side dish. Currently, she is making a crispy chicken. Yes. So the crispy chicken is in the air fryer. It's crispy chicken. She's making a cabbage and also adding, I believe, that looks to be beautiful red peppers. We got onions. This is a peppers. She got tri peppers. She's got carrots, extra carrots, onions. Yeah. <laughs> and some fresh tomato. I always have to have some tomato nowadays. Tomato is oh, tomato. antioxidant, y'all. Get them get them tomatoes in your diet. Get them tomatoes in your diet. Lessons to you too. Everyone, this is the Daily Dish with Dimples. We're here every Monday, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Everyone who is in the building, listen, we you if you have a Meet Me account, the only way you will be able to see us is if you have a POF account. If you do not have a POF account, you will wonder where we are. You will wonder where we are. Please make sure that you create yourself a POF account. This is our last day on um, the Meet Group uh, platform for our show. So please prepare yourself. I'm not going anywhere. We're not going anywhere. What the platform is. Make sure you have my sister's favorite. Hello. Thank you. Make sure you have my sister's favorite. That is Sunny up top. That's Queen La La. They are both content creators. Sunny has, and you will find her show every Wednesday, 3 p.m. And we have, and that is called Reinventing with Sunny. And we also got Queen La La. It's crowned with Queen La La every Thursday, 1 p.m. It's also known as TSA Thursdays. So I'm super excited, it's right? It's on the meet me group, though. It's on the meet me group, though. <laughs> it's on the meet me group. Please put that in there. I'm on meet me. I'm sorry, y'all. I choose meet me. <laughs> I made my choices. <laughs> Make sure that you all also have a meet me account so that you all can catch Queen Lala every Thursday at one. So listen, you all, I'm super excited. So I'm sorry to hear. <laughs> Definitely started to hear about Alec Baldwin. I mean, like, Alec Baldwin got a, he got, I thought he got disconnected with this because they didn't, he had the civil suit. Didn't he have to pay some money or something? Like, something happened. He, uh, and, and like, he was never arrested, but then I went after him civilly. So, this is some time that's taken to get to him. This is really yes, some time. So they, I believe the, I believe the civil suit was like with her, with her family. Um, and he did, he, he had to pay money, but there was also the criminal investigation. I mean, somebody was killed, you know what I mean? So on the, on the criminal side, um, this is unfortunately the outcome and he was indicted. Like I said, it, it, involuntary manslaughter is the charge and it absolutely is what happened. It's absolutely what happened. He involuntarily manslaughtered this woman accidentally killed her okay well guess what you know he has to, he, as you said he has not been sentenced he has not been sentenced but he is but he is indicted he is proven guilty um so he absolutely is guilty of this but now we're just awaiting sentencing and i i don't i don't believe he's in custody i didn't i didn't find that information to know if he's in custody or not yet um, but if he's not in custody, I'm sure at sentencing is when they'll take him into custody if he is, um, if he is going to go to jail or, um, if he doesn't get any prison time, any, any police time or, um, any jail time, excuse me. Yes, Lugs, I agree. He, they'll probably get him set up on probation on house arrest or whatever have you. The Baldwin is not going to jail. Let's just keep this real. Listen. I right, listen, Vaughn, good to see you. Everyone, welcome. Happy Monday. This is Dilly Dish with Dimples. Alec Baldwin, listen, I, I may have to put that on my mama, on my hood. Like, I don't, <laughs> I don't think that the Baldwin, yes, is going to jail. You talking about, these are the Baldwins. Mr. Love, like, he, you know what I mean? He's one of the better Baldwins at that. Thank you for the snowball. He's a bad one, though, too. That's what I'm saying. I'm about to look it up. I'm pretty sure he was one of the bad ones back in his day. You know what I mean? Where he was acting up. What is the doggone bad ones? As those, because you had Alex, Alex Baldwin. Who else you got? Who else you got? Girl, there's five of them. 
There's five of them. Hold on. Hello, Jamila Joy. Is it five? Is it five? That's a lot of bald ones. There's five of them. Okay, so it's Stephen. Stephen Baldwin. That's the one that was the stoner on um, Half Baked. You got Alec Baldwin. That's the one that is in trouble. Then there's Daniel Baldwin. I don't know which one that is. Then there's William Baldwin and Stephen Baldwin. Yo, there's a lot of Baldwins. There's a, there's there's a, lot, a of lot of Baldwins. And they all and they all look the same. Yeah, they do. <laughs> yeah, okay. Wait, yeah, Alec, what, wouldn't you think Alec is the more, oh, they do. Alec's the bad one. When I look at the pictures, I'm like, oh, it's Alec. Alec was the bad one. So Maybe. Alec could actually probably go to prison because he was the bad Baldwin. He was. Mm -hmm. When I look at them, when I look at their faces, I remember who they are. Like, like, what did I say? Steven? Steven's the one that was the stoner on Half Baked. That's the only way I re ever remember him is because I love that that monologue where he's talking about uh, what he wants from the store. But he's the most he's the most successful one. Alec is the, most, the most successful, successful one. He is the most successful one. Yes. That's why I don't think they're going to. And then Steven. Gonna... It's and then him. And then it's Steven. And, and then I think it's William. And then and then the other two are regular degular. I love when you say regular degular. Everyone, regular degular. This is the daily dish. With Alec Dimples. was the bad one. Thank you. Alec was the bad one. Thank you, mulatto. Yo, this is the daily dish with dimples. We are here every Monday, two p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Y'all, listen. We are. This is our last time on the Meet Me application. Yo, Meet Me was and is pretty much the producer of the all. Vote. The shows on the app okay so please if you do not have a pof account make sure you create one because that's where you'll be able to find myself uh meet me accounts please uh, listen alert if you uh, listen tune in to queen lala she is on the meet me network please make sure you favor her as well because she is to be visited every thursday at 1 p.m crown 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 and i'm super excited oh my gosh so wait sunny yo sunny right here y'all this is the side this is the correspondence <laughs> it's all about the correspondence y'all this show is the hottest show with the most correspondence okay so the, the side d she got yo how we doing right now you got that air fried oh, chicken in there yes and it's doing good um all the veggies have gotten soft the tomatoes have started to blister which is what i like what I, I've been in the habit of doing lately is when I'm doing anything in a stir fry type situation, I'm moving the veggies over to one side and put the rice or the potatoes and this thing. In this situation, I put the shredded cabbage over on the one side. I'm just gonna let it cook a little bit. And then you remember I said I left a little bit of that paste over to the side. Yeah. So it has the rosemary and everything in it. So we can layer. You don't want it as heavy a flavor that's on the chicken, but just enough that you can pick that up as well. I'm going to put that on there and then I'm going to mix it all in together, cover it up. You can put a broth in it at this point if you want to, but I don't think I want a broth. <laughs> uh, just, I just like the natural flavors of the veggies. You know, we got to learn to stop covering up the natural taste of the, of the veggies. But the chicken is almost done. That's almost done. I got a little pan heated up for you to show you some three minute gravy. <laughs> Gray, Jamila Joy, everyone, everyone. Okay, so listen, sis, we got more tea. We got Queen La La. She is on the weekend D. The fact is, y'all, it's Monday. Some tea, juice, or gossip happened over the weekend. Okay, so Queen La La delivers the weekend D to us. Sis, give me some more D. So, congratulations goes out. We know we got to cover our Kardashian news. So, um, big congratulations to Kim. Kim is Balenciaga's newest brand ambassador. And let me tell you something. Balenciaga is about to get real naked. <laughs> That's what that means. If y'all don't know anything about Kim Kardashian, she carries the naked with her. Naked is her brand. And the more naked you can be, the more Kim Kardashian that you are. <laughs> and respectfully, 
Kim Kardashian has joined up with Balenciaga and Balenciaga is already skin tight. So it's about to be real skin tight and naked over at Balenciaga. Wait, thank you, Red Hot. Wait, wait, wait. How much do you think they're paying her? Everyone, Girl, welcome, millions. welcome, welcome, welcome. You don't millions. know, we don't know yet. Millions. Um, they so first of all, the the campaign that she's on that she signed on to is for two years. Now I'm going to go, I'm going to go pull up the link and see um, if TMZ has the the numbers, you know, TMZ is the one that has the the most accurate news. Um, they're very disrespectful. <laughs> they're very disrespectful and gets and get the news first that they ain't supposed to know. Um, and they don't have a number. So we don't know how much um, they are paying Kim yet, but she okay. is signed on with them for two years. You know what I love about everyone? Welcome. This is the Daily Dish with Dimples. We're here every Monday, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You all, make sure you get your smartphone and your devices out. Make sure you have a POF account and make sure you have a Meet Me account, okay? Make sure you have both of those accounts, okay? After the day, you won't be able to find me on, the only place you'll be able to find me is on POF. So if you have a Meet Me, get a POF. If you have a POF, get a meet me. It's really, really important. Okay. With these changes and how things are kind of like piling out. So, oh my gosh. So Kim, one thing about her, she's such a force. She, she is, is such a force. Now she is, I mean, and her mom, her mom raised them. Now I'm just saying her mom raised them. Y'all, this is the same woman that had the dog on video with Ray J. She takes of uh, uh, the video, raised them wrong, right? We definitely have different opinions. Uh, she had a video, a sex tape video with Ray J. And now she, I mean, like, not only that, I'm not going to take away from her. The, the, the fact is that her dad, come on, like her dad was on the OJ team that was able to get him acquitted. My mom, yo, that's tough to get that man acquitted, okay? So her, her father was a winner. Let's just, I'm not going to act like, she wasn't a winner, you understand, first, okay? She was a winner. Her dad was a winner. So it's not like the family, like, it's a, it's a dope family, right? They, they got, if you can get OJ off of that, oh, you you dope now, okay? That's a big one. <laughs> you you understand, like, for real. Good to see you, my mind. So, um, but she, she does have skin. She does a lot of skin, and she is sexy. I'm just saying, Red Hot, she, she is sexy. So, we, I mean, we wish her the best of luck. But she's she's successful. She didn't she's need Kanye successful. to be successful. She still Listen. don't need Kanye to be successful. Listen, and and Kanye is still over there. Poor girl, with that poor lady just exposing her all over the internet. That happened this weekend too, where he had her her whole little f flat back, her flat back on the interwebs, and uh, was like cream cream of wheat. Cream of wheat is what he captioned it. And Tyrese clapped back and put his big booty goddess on, <laughs> on his page and just said, whole lot of cream whole, or a whole lot of wheat hold the cream. I was like, oh. <laughs> so he, you know, Kanye and, and she and she looks like Kim. And um, you know, Kim is not is not studying Kanye at all. At uh, she's not studying him. She, you see what she's doing. She's getting more money. She's getting more money. So congratulations to her. What a, what a deal. You know what I mean? That is, uh, that is high end fashion. You know what I mean? That's, that's catwalk fashion. So it's, congratulations. It's Balenciaga. That's a big deal. No, it is a very big deal. It's a very big deal. Sonny, are mm. you surprised? Are you surprised at this big deal that she struck that, um, Kim Kardashian, Struck, are you are you surprised at this deal? Does this surprise you? Yeah, I think I'm, not, I'm not a fan of the Kardashians, but I'm not I'm not shocked at it at all. They they played the game like they were supposed to play the game. Yeah, that was great. She PR team. can't be mad at him no matter how she first got popular because the majority of us didn't even know about her dad until after the girls started coming out. That's when we started finding out about the dad um, because I didn't know. I was like, oh, but. We can't be mad at them uh, because they had a good business sense and because they used that opening. 
because a lot of us miss it when that door open. We just let the door open and look out. They walk right. through the door when it opened up. So, you know, I said, I'm not a fan of them, but give them their props for doing what they did and walking through that door. Yeah. Girl, yeah. they blasted it open. They right. blasted right. it open. Every they single one of them, them. <laughs> every single, every single one is a millionaire. Even Rob, even Rob is a millionaire. What Millions. Is Huh? What is Rob doing? Rob, he has he <laughs> Rob. I think he's still doing the socks. He still has his sock his uh, sock line, and then of course he's he's a Kardashian. So I'm sure that he just gets money off of being a Kardashian and the royalties from the Kardashians being on Hulu and um yeah. and uh, uh Disney. I think something wow. like that. Oh, th is it? This anyway, and they still show it, and they still show it on E. You know what I mean? So I'm sure he still gets tons of royalties from that. But Rob is a millionaire. All of them are millionaires. Every oh single God. one of them. Sunny. Not so much the Jenners, but this just man. the two girls. But it, they're they're Kardashians. You know what I mean? Right. They're Kim's, or excuse me, they're Chris's daughters. You know? Yeah, yeah. But, but now, yeah, definitely, definitely blasted the doors open. And they, I, I still say, if if, if y'all haven't seen, uh, what is it, Kardashians, the billion dollar franchise, something like that or other, on um, on Peacock or Hulu, it was one of those. That they, they tell you their PR team, their PR team is how they got to where they got to. There was a, it was a big deal that, um, it was a big deal that Kim had the sex tape and went to this PR team and they did the the damage control really that okay. ultimately got them to where they're at now so yeah <laughs> Sunny, what we got in here what, what, what's in this pot it looks like a That's your gravy this is a very simple black pepper and onion gravy which is the best gravy for anything it's just a lot of onions some oil um the onions, the oil, salt, pepper, that's all you need. I'm gonna put a touch of rosemary and uh, celery in it. Celery makes a wonderful gravy when you're doing turkey and um, chicken. Okay. It makes it wonderful. So this is all it is. And I, if y'all might've saw, I took some of the oil out of the pan that I had already used for some French fries. Yeah. I, just, <laughs> I just took like three tablespoons of the oil to put it in here because gravy is a weakness of mine. I can just eat gravy and bread, gravy and rice, you know, five <laughs> times a day. So I need a good amount. So I'm just simmering the, uh, the onions, letting the flavor get into the oil. And then I'm going to put some flour on top of it, let it brown. And then you just add your liquid, whether it's a broth, regular water, milk, whatever. And that's it. Quick, 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 quick. Uh, Oh my gosh, nice. Um, I'm so glad you touched on everyone. Welcome. This is a daily dish with dimples. We're here every Monday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, oh, announcement, announcement. Everyone, I will be hosting a newbie but goodie showcase on March 9th. A newbie but goodie showcase. If you are pan pan, if you are a, a streamer with two milli and under diamonds please make sure that you are a streamer with two million and under diamonds and you're interested in your first auction your second auction and you want to get yourself out there please make sure that you a favorite me yes andy thank you so much for the favorite make sure you favorite me and send me a message on um on ig um that will be only if you're interested in being a um a participant okay in march 9th thank you thank you thank you lugs so listen sis all right so those are them I do want to mention one of I do want to mention one of the the Kardashians. I think it was Chloe. Her nose. Did you happen to get to? So Chloe's. I think it's Chloe's nose appears to be jacked up. Uh oh. It's, <laughs> I believe it's Chloe. They were at Saint Game. Let me go to was they were at Saint Game Saint has a game kanye west and kim kardashian's son um has a had a game and she was seen looking with well, her nose kind of jacked up let me see is it chloe kardashian i believe kardashian knows uh let me see kardashian is it chloe 
nose. Let's see. Talking about from like a plastic surgery mess up, right? It, 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 it is. It is Chloe. It is Chloe, and she was uh, collapsed nose. Chloe Kardashian's collapsed nose angers fans. So she she was seen. She was seen at a Saints game, and her nose appeared to be very jack up so there 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 was it appears it might be um some breakdown is it is it chloe yeah it, there's some some breakdown yo hey casanova is that hold on who is that hello hello everyone welcome 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 so it appears to be some breakdown please we have to be mindful is it i think it's, it's got to be chloe but chloe it's, over chloe, the it's chloe but i don't see it okay okay well it appeared that fans were very Oh, yeah. Now, now, not in that one. That, not in that one. It, no, nope, she. That's was, what I'm saying. It, she look. It looks all right to me. This is January 13th. No, she was visiting. Uh, let me see. Uh, Chloe, January, January 15th. Name, uh, nose, and looks all right to me. Yeah, that's what they put out. Well, this heavy thing, on that's what they're putting out. <laughs> <laughs> Heavy on that's what they're putting out. <laughs> yeah, Casanova, this was five days ago. If you put a, if you put on, if you if you look up uh, Chloe uh, Kardashian's um, nose five days ago. <laughs> you have to say five days ago in the search. Yes, girl, Chloe Kardashian. <laughs> Casanova, welcome. <laughs> Kardashian exposes her collapsed nose at nephew Saint's game in LA as fans ask, How can she breathe? Yeah, because they added probably a month, two months, three months ago, but recently there was some like fervor about pictures that were taken with her nose. Yes, Miss Connie. So she had, I mean, th there's some issues. There's some issues, okay? Chillax, and there's some issues. There's some problems. She's had, she she admitted, uh, Chloe actually admitted to having, yeah, yeah. Put it up, yeah, thank you. Yeah, this is what her nose is looking like right now. That does not look good, y'all. Stop with you, that does not look good. You see them come up, thank you, sister. So, of course. Ms. Lips. All right. Yeah. This is her. And it appears that she can't breathe. It appears who be gassing y'all. It, it appears that there was some issues or is there some breakdown or some collapsing? Y'all, speaking of what's collapsing and breaking down, that doggone gravy to the bottom left hand side. Yo, we got say welcome to the daily dish with dimples. You understand? This is where we do dishes. Hello. Right now we have the side D. We have the side D. Yes, Sunny is a content creator. She has her feature show every Wednesday at 3 p.m. called Reinvented with Sunny. Where oh my gosh, she takes food and she recreates it. You talking about leftovers? Oh, I don't like leftovers. Oh, I don't <laughs> Yes, you screw you. You need to watch my sister because she recreates. She recreates the meals and so forth and blends it. So I'm super excited because she is a content creator. She is making crispy uh, chicken thighs with cabbage and gravy and a lot of goodness. Okay, so I'm Yum. super excited. Uh, yummy. La La, she also has a feature show on the Meet Me app. If you do not have Meet Me, please, please make sure you download Meet Me so that you can see my sister Thursdays at 1 p.m. Make sure if you do not have a POF account, you all, if you do not have a POF oh, account, you. get one, get one. Now I'm waiting for, yes, if you do not have an account, get one. So, I'm, whoa, whoa, whoa. How you, whoa? Put it in my mouth. <laughs> Give me the thigh. Relax it. You give me two seconds and I'll put you in. Um, oh my god. Yes, yes, yes. How you get that thing crispy in the oh, oh my gosh. You had to get all the water out of it. That's the main thing is to get that water oh, off of it. Where's my bowl? I'm looking for them dry. Oh. Platinum tribe. You gotta put dry. the gravy on it. Yeah. I can't talk about these couples yet. I got a couple news gravy. for y'all, but this gravy is distracting me. Put the gravy on it. 
That's my favorite part. Now let us see it now. Oh yeah. <laughs> Tony. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that looks yeah. absolutely delicious. That. You know, this is our favorite. And just so yeah, y'all can see that it's crispy, right? You hear it? Yeah. Ooh, you better bite it. Yes. You better dip it in the gravy and bite it, Sonny. <laughs> Isn't it you? you know how I am. <laughs> wow. Oh, you better give me what I like. And what even would be better, <laughs> even good, is if you drizzle some honey on top of it. That would be amazing too. But y'all want to hear the crisp, uh, the crunch. Yeah, come on. Lala, you always want to hear that crunch. I do. I want to hear the crunch. Hey, that piece fell off, but. Oh, you wrong. You wrong. <laughs> Put it in my mouth. Yes. That is super exciting, you all. Yum, yum. I need it. You need <laughs> it? Really just mm -hmm. Delicious. Delicious. Yes. <laughs> Ah. Thank you, thank you. Make sure y'all favorite Sunny. Make sure y'all favorite myself. Make sure y'all favorite Queen Lala. You all, if you if you do not welcome POF. Hello, can you tell us what is this right here? Is this that cabbage? You just this what is, is that coleslaw mix, which is nothing but cabbage. It's purple and regular cabbage. That's all this is. And then I just added some other to uh, some other carrots. I put some fresh mm -hmm. tomato in it some orange and red peppers and added some of that uh paste that i used for the chicken put a little bit of that in here i like to get different texture so i let the initial batch of the coleslaw that i put in start to soften then i put some more coleslaw on top so it has a little bit of a different texture so yes 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 Can you, you gotta stoop down oh, sonny he says stoop down to your food who said yeah, that yeah 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 are okay, you trying to get a picture? Oh my goodness, that looks delicious. That looks so uh, yummy. Are you trying? I think you're trying to get a picture. I'm he sorry. Was. Oh, hold on, let me put my on here. I ate half the cabbage. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Yummy. Uh, she's like, I ate all the vegetables. Now, Chilexin, right? I saw you. I saw you, Chilexin. We uh, we are almost. Um, I'm like. Oh, it really is like a warm coleslaw. That's almost what it is. It's just a warm cup. Okay. That better? <laughs> I would never have put the gravy on top of my chicken because I like to, I save my gravy for my bread and my rice. But Lala, that was good. <laughs> I know it was. I told you. <laughs> so good. I told you. That actually was good. On that crispy chicken. part. On that yeah. crunchy, juicy Man. part. Yes. And you know what, y'all? So I know how to eat. eat. <laughs> this was a four pack of chicken thighs. All right. Yummy. So it was a four pack of chicken thighs. So I did this. This is my lunch and dinner. This is probably 75 cents. A dollar worth of veggies because a coleslaw bag is less than two dollars so this and i still got a half a pot still got a bunch of the veggie left over what three dollars four dollars wow. still have two chicken breasts left one i'm going to use and make some chicken dumplings and the other one i'm going to use and make some chicken broth use that one six pack six dollar pack of chicken for three different things love three it different things. Three dollar meal, y'all. Yeah. Delicious. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my gosh! Listen, everyone. Listen, I want to say. Oh, oh my gosh! Thank you so it much, y'all. Y'all, this is this is amazing. Uh, I am excited. I'm I'm I am hungry. Hello, hello, Halter. <laughs> well, 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 in the building, y'all. My sisters are content creators. They have their own featured show. This is a featured show. Featured shows are shows in which the app has seen as successful, fun shows that people will like. And when they when 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 they're featured, it's like it, it's cool to be able to say, hey, to the app gets you trending, it gets more people, you know what I mean? Like you get your name out there. So it's super, super, super exciting. And my sisters both have content, they're both content creators. We got Sunny. If you all want to catch Sunny, she has her feature show. Sunny, are you keeping the same time as three o'clock on Wednesdays? I, I'm not sure. I'm meeting with them right after I leave here with you today. I'm meeting with the app, so <laughs> we'll be figuring that out today. Of course, of course.
course, well, listen, you all, make sure that y'all favorite Sunny. She does, and, and follow her IG. Same, yeah. same, same with Queen Lala. You can follow them both on IG. Um, you know what, Savan, I miss you too. Um, right now we're doing a, the featured segment, and um, I actually have to finish. I actually have to finish my dog on um, meal myself. So I'll probably take y'all downstairs. Please make sure y'all favor Sunny. Sunny, thank you. She is our correspondent of, yo, don't ask me again. Uh, God bless you. Um, she's the side D correspondent at the Daily Dish with Dimples. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate hey, y'all. Another thing I wanted oh, to tell you earlier, oh. when you're doing your gravy, yeah. if you've cooked some type of meat, use yeah. those drippings with the onion and the flour you don't have to go and use water or broth make it in that same pot yes. or pan that you cook the meat in and use those drippings and you probably won't need any other seasoning at all at yeah. all and if i'm not even even if my showtime is changing i still will be going live on wednesdays at 3 p.m eastern until the change happens uh, Sunny, please tell us, take, take a moment to tell us about uh, what you're doing for February, Black History Month. For Black History Month, uh, Meta has passed the torch down to me. Um, so what we're doing for Black History, we're having a Motown review for the opening ceremony on February 1st in my and my stream. We have the DJ Joe, top, the top badge DJ Joey Crack. We have DJ Brazil, we have Canon, we have um, Soul for Six singing. I have a person coming over from TikTok. Her name is Shanice Janae is coming over. If y'all look in my uh, story, I put uh, I started posting things of her singing. She's coming over and singing. We have Twisted One Vibe, uh, Kuwait. We have a lot of, we have some speakers, some amazing singers and DJs, and they will be strictly doing Motown music for us. And then throughout the month, we will be having Black History Facts and so specific streamers um, stream. Uh, we have a male nurse that's going to be doing men's health. We have a one, a female nurse that's lips that's going to be doing um, women's health. We have Jamila J Jamila Joy is doing spiritual health. We have uh, the idol Marquise. He's doing financial help when it deals to insurance because a lot of people don't realize that insurance is part of your wealth. And so that's part of being financially healthy. Um, I have Uma Bay is doing in um, on emotional help. So obtaining emotional intelligence. So we have somebody that's doing uh, how to be a healthy caregiver. Uh, we have a uh, healthy cooking. We have Zumba classes. Uh, right now, they're set for Thursdays and Saturdays with a certified instructor. So for you all who want to come and do something, don't think this is just we just picked anybody. Everybody that's hosting are either licensed, certified in the field of what they're coming in for. We actually have somebody else that's uh, licensed in uh, behavioral health. So we have a little bit of everything going on, something for everybody. And no matter the color of your skin, because our theme is health. And we all need to be on that healthy train and stay on that healthy train. That's why you bake these thighs and don't fry them. That's why you get all that extra fat off these thighs and don't fry them. That's why you put them in the air fryer. <laughs> we trying to get a little bit healthier around here. <laughs> yes. Sunny, I'm, I'm going to kick you out because guess what? Sunny has amazing things to do. Sunny has amazing things to do. She has a, a she like she said, she has a meeting at 3.30. 3.30. Thank you. Listen, make sure I will be one of those. Luck, Sunny. Streamers Thank you, baby. Sunny. Thank you. One of those streamers supporting Sunny at the time of that um, of February 1st, okay, of that month. So she has a slew, a slew, a slew, a slew, okay? Um, sis, yes. yo, if you do not have a Meet Me account, please make sure that you get you a Meet Me account. She, my sister, Queen Lala, will be exclusively on the meet me app in which she has a featured show called crown with queen lala can you please <clears throat> can you please tell us just a little bit about um uh about crown and just you know what it's about and because it, it's an amazing show yes um so crowned is my featured show on the meet me app um it is every thursday at 1 p.m eastern standard it is an interview style show with um, very confident people that um, you guys all 
look up to and that I look up to. And um, we, I interview them about how they got their confidence, how they got to the space where they have never been better than ever, <clears throat> how they, uh, what the journey was like to get there and how they maintain it. So um, we also talk about um, manifesting the things we want from our crown chakra, um, especially our confidence. So you guys, please favorite uh, this account. This is my POF account, but definitely head over to meet me if you want to follow the show um, and stay with me on the show. Um, you guys probably already have that account favorited. That's the one that I'm normally on every Monday. So make sure you guys, um, if you haven't, you go look it up and uh, you'll find me. You'll find me there. Sister, thank you so much for the amazing show. Thank you for being here. It was here. a great show. Our curls always be popping. Our I, curls I, are always popping. I did it for you today. I brushed them out so that they were really popping for you. I did it for you. This is for you. Thank you. Everyone, listen, please. Thank you so much, Lux. Thank you. Each and every one of y'all, thank y'all for being here. I appreciate y'all. Yes, the double D, the, excuse me, the triple, triple D. Um, so you all, I have some, I have some things to do, right? Um, so listen, Savant, Savant. <laughs> Savant you may First of all, Savan, you need to get your life together. The Daily Dish with Dimples every Monday, 2 p.m. Yes, I didn't. I know. You, can I tell you I'm so proud of you? Can I tell you thank you so much? Yo, Savan. Hello, my friend. How are you? Savant, How are you? Thank you How so are you, much, my love. friend? Love, you, are, you. you are you are very, uh, you're 